Why is denying yourself sex something that is a good political weapon? What does I... it do other than put yourself into a state of denial? Well, I think... To, well, the point of what she's doing is basically she has made a really provocative statement. She mm -hmm. has said, um, you know, until w women have the right to decide whether or not they give birth, then the only way that they control that is by not having sex. So she's made a what really provocative... What is that provocative... the only way they control that? Well, Surely because... campaigning against the law is, to, is the but way to control that. This is a that. campaign, isn't it? This is an act of activism. This is to provoke a debate. This is to get the world to talk about a really serious, important issue. And it's working. You know, we start mentioning sex, we start mentioning taking away sex, you're going to get everybody's attention. But who said they wanted to have sex with Alyssa Milano? Right? I think she's a total Trump-loathing maniac, right? But I she's... wouldn't go near her. The idea that somehow we're being unilaterally banned, the male race, from the pleasure of sex with Alyssa Milano, I don't want to have sex with her. So her, how dare she launch a sex strike? that actually we haven't been included in. But this is the thing. I think it's being received as if it's this sort of male-female um, split, if it's, it's, as if it's against men, but it's not. It's about women it's not against having men. the right. It's about women having the right so If every decide, woman stopped having sex prefer. tomorrow, that wouldn't be an anti-men thing. It's not an anti-men thing, is it? Men, if men hopefully would be in agreement with this, women should have the right. Sarah, Sarah you could be in agreement, but also think this is utterly well, ridiculous. Well, I think I think it's incredibly old-fashioned. It feels like something that you could, have, you know, might have happened in 1120 mm. in, in in Italy or something. I think it did uh, happen. I, I, I probably it has did, happened didn't historically, it? Yeah. And I think the other thing is, is that uh, Alyssa, Melissa, Alyssa, Melissa, what's she called? Alyssa, Alyssa Milano. Milano. <laughs> Alyssa Milano is a sort of leading light of the Me Too movement, yeah. and the whole point about the Me Too movement is to de-objectify women's bodies. It's sort of putting... It's putting our sex sort of front and centre of everything that women are about. Well, and the point is about women... something that we're constantly trying yeah. to campaign against. Exactly. Using so sex against us. Suggest, and it to... leads to comments like Piers's, uh, well, well, which is incredibly personal, um, about I wouldn't want to have sex exactly. with that individual, which, again, you know, I don't, I don't want people talking about Quite. women but also, in that way. It, it, makes sex, it makes sex sound very transactional. And I think the thing is, is, for some people, sex is transactional, and that's fine. But for most of us, it's not. It's not something that we use as a weapon it's mm. weaponizing sex and it feels it feels like the, you know the point is that women now have, have thousands of options to have their voices heard mm. you know we 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 got the vote we can do anything we want there is one know, point sarah we don't i was need saying to do I, mean, I totally agree with you but what, and i think it's madness however melissa you raise an interesting point uh, i think which is uh, melinda I'm so, it's melissa's melinda's <laughs> everyone's all over the place um, <laughs> is that actually by saying something ridiculous like this a sex strike uh, actually, it has got us talk. talking about it this That's morning. That's the point. And it? actually, yeah, what, what Georgia and these other states the are now is trying to do... we're not talking about the abortion law. We're no, talking about No, but in a way, that's sex. also coming as part of the package. I mean, there might be some method to the madness. Yeah, I think there is. I think the end justifies the mean. I mean, our... our... Are people going to suddenly stop having sex? Is that going to change the law? No, of course not. But the debate might. The fact that we're all talking about it, the fact that she's caught our attention and she's done it in a, in a way that... Um, I mean, she, if she just talked about the fact that... Uh, uh, the abortion um, and taking away those rights was an issue, then that wouldn't have gone... Melinda, how attention. long would you be prepared to...? Because you were all prepared to do this, right? Well, I didn't say I was prepared to do this. Right. I said I think that the, the, what she's done... How, is far, how long would you go on strike? So it's just lip service then, isn't it? It is lip service, but to a really important cause. Let's also, not forget, women are, are being denied the right to choose whether they have a baby. Which That's is really important. I, I'm, I'm afraid that this is like, I it. think it's like it depends who's going on strike. I think if I go on a sex strike, no one is going to care. But I think if I Melinda does... Well, your then husband that might actually <laughs> have a bigger Sarah, your husband would care. That might have a materially bad effect on the mental health of actually one of our senior politicians <laughs> at a very difficult time for the country. Sarah Vine, if you don't so know, don't is married dare. to Michael Gove, the Environment Secretary. Um, well, ladies, thank you very much. It's a very interesting debate.